Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've gotten so many comments on our kitchen makeover. You guys have got to see snippets of the makeover here and there in my videos and a lot of you are asking to see a dedicated video. Well, here it is. This took us a little bit to film but it's finally done. Today in this video we are going to be painting the cabinets and hanging the new backsplash. I lost my clips that I recorded of the before so I had to pull some from an old video of mine where I was cleaning the cabinets. So hopefully you can get a good view here of what they look like. We live in a mobile home, so as you can see, our cabinets are very outdated and they're just your traditional mobile home cabinetry. So I'm gonna give those an update with some beadboard, paint, and also some new hardware. If you would like to see how we did our countertops, they are faux granite. I filmed that as well and I will have it linked in my description box. And I will also have everything else that I can link in the description box as well. Real quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about the beadboard that we put on the fronts of the cabinets. So you can buy this at Lowe's and it's basically just wallpaper. It does come with a glue on the back so after it gets wet, the glue becomes sticky. But what we did is we took and cut and measured the pieces that we need for each cabinet and then we just took and ran the whole piece through a bowl of water and it became sticky and then we just took and stuck it to the front of the cabinet and it does slide very easily so you don't have to worry about you know it drying immediately you can move it as you need it and then once we had it where we wanted it we just took a rolling pin and rolled the whole thing pressed it on there really good and then we just took a dry rag or a towel and patted it dry got all of the excess water out and we did that for every front the only cabinets that we didn't do were the ones on the island just because they're flat cabinets we didn't think that it would look right so yeah and as you can see we still need to trim this one up a little bit we've got a little bit of excess hanging over but that's pretty much all there is to that I will try to find this exact one and link it down below in the description box so I'm gonna start with the island first. Our plans are to paint this gray and then the rest of the kitchen will be white. I'm using the Bullseye Multi-Purpose Primer. You can find this at Lowe's. We got this before the whole coronavirus lockdown, but I think you can order it online through the Lowe's site or app and they'll bring it out to your car. And the paint I will also share, we already had it on hand from paint in my bedroom a few months back and it came from Lowe's as well. It was the same shade we wanted on the island so we just went with what was left of it. I also want to add that I didn't take the time to tape anything off. You could do that if you want to but what I like to do when I'm painting is to wet an old cloth that I don't really care too much about and keep it close so that if I drip or I get paint anywhere that I don't want I can just easily wipe it up. And y'all, I didn't know my hair was not all the way up. I somehow always missed that little bit hanging in the back. It bugged the crap out of me the whole time I was editing this. I'm using a roller and a brush so that I can get in the edges and the corners really well. I also want to add that we only did one coat of primer on all of the cabinets. We did one coat of the gray on the island and then the rest of the cabinets we had to do two coats of white. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you're looking for a budget friendly countertop upgrade, I highly recommend checking out the video that I made on our faux granite. They used to be traditional mobile home counters and still are. They just look more high end now and like granite. The whole granite project cost us $45. That's it. So if you're interested, don't forget to check it out. I'll have it linked down below.
Also, you're gonna see several outfit changes throughout this video because it took me several days to film. <laughs> If you remember earlier when I said the beadboard still needed trimming in some areas, that's what I'm doing here and I'm just doing it with a straight edge.
All right, now we're on to the painting portion. I'm gonna go ahead and do the island first and get it out of the way since it's the smallest part. This is the color that I'm using. Also the same color as what's in my bedroom. As a matter of fact, both this one and the white paint you'll see me use, we already had both on hand. The only thing that we had to buy was the primer. And here's a tip for you. If you only have one paint tray and you need to use it more than once, line it with foil so when you're done, all you have to do is throw the foil away and your tray is clean. And I don't know why, but I painted the insides of all the cabinet doors except the ones on the island. I don't know why or how, but I forgot to do those. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter because they're on the inside anyways.
Okay, now we're finally moving on to the rest of the cabinets. This is the white that we had on hand. I'm not sure where it came from, either Walmart or Lowe's, and it is self-priming, but because the cabinets were made of that paper top material, we wanted to be safe and use an additional primer with it. So this is the current backsplash that we have up. So we've already started taking it down. So I'm gonna finish taking the little bits off. 
and we are gonna put the new one up. So this is the new backsplash that we're gonna go with. And we got this off of Amazon. I will have it linked down below, but it's sticky back and it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to put up there. I also think we're gonna have to end up ordering another one of these. This is a pack of 10 and I think it's gonna cover almost all of it, but not quite the entire wall. So we will have to order another pack, I feel like, but I'm gonna go ahead and hang up what we do have. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We are in love with how the kitchen came out. The only thing that we need to do now is paint the walls. I asked you guys over on Instagram and just about every single one of you said a light gray. But if you're not on Instagram and you missed that, let me know your paint color vote down below. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.